Hello everybody, so today I'm going to kind of go over some strobe light basics and safety for anybody that might want to get one of these. It's very important to remember that there can be a lot of dangerous high voltage present in these, so you really need to know what you're doing. As you can see, the cabinet is off of this controller, and when you pull the cabinet off, this interlock switch here cuts power to the unit. Now you can pull it out with the cabinet off, and it will energize. You can see the high voltage warning light came on there. That tells you that it's about to start flashing. So when that light's on, you need to be very careful if you have this opened up. And on the side here, these are your status LEDs. It will show you things like your sync, uh, day or night mode, and any alarms that you might have. And here's your intensity select switch. Changes between night and day and auto. Auto is usually for um, photo cell or master slave interconnect operation. And here is terminal block one or TV one. This is where you connect your photo cell and your master slave interconnect or any alarms. And this is TV four. This is your main power input. And this controller, this is just uh, regular 120 volts. Plugs into a standard household outlet. And then here is TV2. This is the output to the flash head. And this is TV5. This is where you connect side marker lights. Now on the PC310 or any of the white strobe, white only strobes, you don't have that. And that's kind of a basic overview of the PC312 controller. You'll notice on the flash heads, flash technology does not put a safety interlock inside the flash head, so it will continue to flash if you open it up. So you have to be very careful inside there as well. Now on some other manufacturers like TWR and Huey Phillips or Honeywell, they actually have a safety interlock switch inside the flash head. And it works the same way. You can pull it out and it will energize the flash head. So it'll cut power to it if you open it up. Now you'll notice on these, whenever you kill power to it, the high voltage light stays on. That indicates that there's still high voltage present in the capacitors. And it will bleed off slowly. I usually wait a couple of minutes before I start working on these even after the light goes out, just to be sure. Because these things, um, there's about 500 volts that come out of these things, so it can be extremely dangerous. So you have to be very careful working on these. Uh, I do not recommend working on them if they, uh, they're connected to power. Uh, you really should disconnect the power, the main feed power to it if you're gonna work on it, even though it's got an interlock. There can still be voltage in there. So that's kind of basic overview um, I'm not an expert on these things, but I've been messing with them long enough. So if you have any more questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.